Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Ventoy application and what that is basically if you've got multiple ISOs, if you distro hop a lot, you've got ISOs of different distributions, you can simply drag and drop them in onto your Ventoy external hard drive. And I will show you what that looks like. And as you can see, I've got multiple ISOs here. And all I've done is basically download them and drag and drop them onto my Ventoy. It does use two partitions. One will be the EFI and then the second one, Ventoy. This is where you actually can drag and drop things onto. You don't want to use the EFI. That's just to allow the USB drive to boot. And this would replace the need for an etcher or a Fedora media writer. It's, it basically could be like an archive of ISOs that you could just have on an external hard drive. That's kind of how I use it. And to get started, we're just going to download the Ventoy Linux tar GZ file. And it's going to pull up SourceForge and we'll just grab this one. And I've already downloaded this, so let that download and then I will sh we'll continue from there. Okay, so here's my downloads. I'm just going to extract this. We're looking for the Ventoy web file. So out in this empty space, I'm just gonna right click and open a terminal. Then you do capital Vin. And then I just tab the rest of the way. Press enter, put your password in. And then what this is doing is it's running a web server. So it tells us to open a browser and visit this link here. So you can copy that, or I believe it's gonna let me click on it. Yeah, control click. And that's gonna bring up our web server. Since I don't wanna re-image my real Ventoy drive, let me throw a USB stick in real fast. All right, we'll refresh this. And you can see I've got my Kingston Data Traveler USB. Data will be lost, okay. Double check, make sure, yep. Congratulations, Ventoy has been successful. All right, and if you get an error message, try to change, go to options and change the partition style to GPT. I don't remember the error message, but I was getting some message. Basically, I needed to change the partition type to GPT, and then you can click install. And that did complete. And if I bring our Dolphin Explorer back open, we can now see we've got our Ventoy drive. So now if I wanted to download some ISOs and throw them on here, I could do that. Here's two, I'll just copy those. Paste them in here. You can make a folder structure on my main Ventoy device, I've got a folder named ISOs. And during the boot process, Ventoy does detect those ISOs within that file structure. All right, so once these finished copying, I'll go ahead and restart the computer and I'll get to the boot menu and I'll show you what it looks like from the boot menu side. While we're waiting on this to copy, before you restart, go ahead and make sure you close down the server with a control C or you can just close the terminal. So all I had to do was get to the boot menu and now I can select the two ISOs that we copied. So we'll go into Arch. And as you can see, we're at the Arch Linux install. So if we want to do like Arch install, We could run through the Arch install without having to write the ISO to a USB stick. Literally just copy and paste. So super handy utility. And if you haven't already, please make sure to visit the GPU giveaway video 
and leave a comment what you're thankful for. I'm giving away three AMD 6600s. Don't miss out. And that's going to do it for today's video. I hope you found the video helpful and informative. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments section below. Also, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.